two players are playing, two players are commentating. First game is going to be between Castellano and Tunnicliffe. Yeah, we can get it started. Um, if you guys want to match each other. All right, what and, we got? Oh, is right. he going to open with Tunny? That will be fun. Huh. I guess Yamun yeah, Actually... But, no, I mean, I think Yamun yeah, is better. Yeah, Yamun, yeah, okay. So. Tony was the first thing that came to my mind. That would be very funny. It's his nickname. It's a shortening of his last name. It would be really cool. No, he, he does, does it. Does. Honestly, I don't know. It's probably a slightly worse, but it's, it's not it that probably, bad. Yeah. NT is great and Yamun scores better, but uh, what do we got? Kauri. You know, it would be great. Like, It would be great if uh, skirmishes had like dark mode. I mean, that would be, like, a huge improvement, right? <laughs> yeah. So what about, I don't know, Kauri is seemingly all right. Scores yeah. 26. To that Y and Tony C-O-W-R. Cowan, yeah, C-O-W-A-N, good. if you hate the uh, vowels. <laughs> he doesn't know how to do dark mode. <laughs> yeah, if you Cowan. hate vowels. I mean... That's one of the. That's a really uh, tense discussion these days. I mean, I guess like how bad are vowels really? Uh, yeah, the calorie like, does Cal come down. Okay, so but, what we got for math? We got Z Z A and Z O and A W. There's there would be a very fun word with an E on the board. He could play commies, but there's no mm -hmm. E on the board, so no. But that's a fun one to think about. Yeah, we're probably uh, just gonna see uh, a two-letter word here. Few more seconds of thought. I think you play. I think you play Z E right because then you have the A for Azo, and it's also yeah. I guess slightly, yeah. slightly more difficult well, to overlap. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of A's out though. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. So he might uh, not. I don't know. He might just be setting it up for his opponent. I mean, there's yeah, uh, yeah. still eight A's left, and there's. Uh, what a Z A and now uh, I guess it's honestly awesome. I I actually think Z E is an improvement. I, I know what you I hear what you're saying, but like just in case, just yeah. in case kind of doesn't have it, and it's it's a lot harder to put a tile at, at six J right. There are, there are fewer three letter words that end yeah, in E W. Yeah, he, he has the uh, M. Like he can already sit and play M A M or K A M if he wants to. Yeah, I actually think that was a small. Uh, I don't know. It's, oh, it's it Josh's seems weird. Turn. He's going to overlap weird. somehow. The question is... Well, no, he's probably just going to play AW. By the way, like for people that are just joining, uh, yeah, this is 10 minutes per side, no overtime. Uh, right behind you is Josh Castellano. Everyone else, I think, yeah. is your name on there? Yes, yeah, mine. Is it going to say? Okay. Uh, it's kind of funny that the person who made the site is the person without his name on there oh yeah tell us about that um yeah josh castellano integral part of the wiggles team putting this website together yeah, matthew tonicliffe i see the first thing that comes to my mind is memo under tony because i don't think he has anything with the q with that u so i think he's gonna play memo underneath tony what about suk s-u-q Ooh, that is an option. I don't like it because it yields the or it she it uh, sheds the S alongside the Q and it scores worse. But it is, I believe, the only way to get rid of the Q. So it's it's worth considering. But I would probably do memo. The other thing is, if you draw an I, it's probably going to be pretty easy to play QIS next turn, and you have a pretty good shot at drawing an I, and then. He's playing mom. So I don't like this play because usually when you have the Q, you want to get rid of everything you can that's not um, a U because the Q works badly with anything that's not the uh, U. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I think the thing about, yeah, that that, that is a concept that we uh, we tend to okay. try and follow oh, as much as possible. Josh, Josh has decided to take the points. Um, he could also play I nay. Uh, underneath mom, which is uh, 21 points. Oh. He decided to score 30, but keeping two extra... Yep. Under MOM. That's yep. a nice underlap. Yeah. 
Um, How much more is this? I believe he scored nine extra points to uh, keep the extra fouls. So it's uh, it's definitely an interesting decision. So now uh, Matthew Tunnicliffe plays Kebs, which is the highest scoring option, um, but it does set up the uh, triple up there. So now right behind you, we've got some options. He can play Gory uh, on the triple. He can play Gora. He's going to play Gore to undouble the ease. Uh, Matthew Tunnicliffe's just going to play QI in just a sec. Mm-hmm. There's nothing that Yeah, so a pretty slow start, right? It's a tie game right now. Um, yeah, Ton of Cliffs can get rid of his cues. Oh, he's oh, going to take a good go. lead, but okay. now, yeah, wow. Now AEI. Got, uh, and ceiling and lineages. Uh, AEI uh, turning into this. They don't, they don't play. Three vowels. So he's probably going to hook the AW and make Gaw and play either leasing, ceiling, or lineages. And out of those, lineages scores, I believe, one more point because it doubles the G. Huh. But he plays ceiling. So now Matthew Tonicliffe has Hoyle, a top ceiling, which is probably the best play. That's weird. Do you think he missed lineages? It is 30. Ah, uh, I don't know. Maybe. It's a little, this is a little harder to work with. It's a little, because the vowels and consonants don't alternate. Um, so yeah, Matthew Tonicliffe has Hoyle for 36, a top ceiling. H-O-Y-L-E, yeah. Yep. Yeah, it looks pretty good. But he's definitely behind now. He's down 40. Um, it's not but, really I mean, it's not really that bad, but but yeah. I mean, uh, the sport is kind of tight. There's not much going on in it, right? So, so yeah, Josh's options. He can play Eid beneath QI for uh, 27. Yep. He can play Died, D-E-I-D. Uh, which keeps three vowels, but it scores more points. He can play Dude on top of Hoyle, which is yes, 20. He so that's what it does. Okay. So now it looks like Matthew Tunnicliffe can play a couple different things. He can play Fixed beneath, beneath DOS and I, and he can also play Fixed um, beneath QI. Yeah, wouldn't you do that instead? Uh, which one scores What's the score better? Difference? 21, 20, uh, it looks like it's two more points to play at beneath QI, and that's what he does. Uh, now we got Josh. He, I think Teppa. Teppa is a very nice fit above uh, Dude. Yeah, yeah, that looks pretty good. And there's 39 points, so I think I think he's going to do that. Yeah, T-E-P-A making E-D-P-U-H and A-D-O-S. The other nice thing about Teppa is it, uh, it kills the DOS and IDE hooks beneath it because a DOS doesn't take hooks and it kills any chance of like IR coming on the board and then another bingo lane appearing. Yeah, I think, and yeah, I mean, I think even, though, even though Josh isn't ahead... Um, it's basically well, a tempo take... game here. Yeah, he's, he's about, about to take to... the lead. It's it's he's about a tempo to... game here, but it's still important, I would say, in tempo games to like reduce possibilities of your opponent just opening things you, you can't do anything about. And so, it'll, yeah. it'll score 39, too. Yeah, yeah. That looks pretty good. He's going to have to find that. I don't know if there's That's... anything close to that. That's yeah, you got to know your four-letter words. He can't score anything anywhere else. I mean, what is he going to play, Pieta and Fa? I mean, it's uh, it sheds one extra vowel, but it's 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 a 14-point sacrifice. It's not correct. So, he's, so he's you've just... taken this long. Do you think he just hasn't spotted it yet? Yeah, he, he hasn't spotted it. Hmm. Uh, All right, and now it's now it's so close. I mean, we had the game was tied earlier, and now it's a one point I think, game. I think he Sorry, can go. What are you saying? I think it, Matthew Tonicliffe can go different routes between fishing and maybe scoring a little extra. Like he could play AA for ten, but he could also play say para. And for those that are new to the Scrabble, what is fishing? So fishing is when you play all very few tiles because the you have a good leave. 
Like uh, the stuff you still have is very close to a bingo, but you just don't quite have it together on your rack. He's gonna play Aya. So yeah, that makes sense. Got, Josh has got lights and Stooley. Um, yeah, that makes sense. A, I like that play. Just not not putting all your eggs in one basket. Yeah, I mean it scores something. It's not quite as low scoring as AA, and uh, it's eighteen, so it's good. Yeah. Overlaps. Oh mo yeah, man, that's got, that's got huge. Overlap. I like when words are played that like are Scrabble words, but aren't actually referring to what's happening. An overlap yeah. is, is something totally different. It's not playing through a letter, but... Yeah, here's overlap. Uh, oh, wow, both blanks. Oh, my God. Okay. Look at that. Anything? Super interesting. I don't, I don't know if he actually has anything. What if he... Um, he might actually do better off playing one of the blanks off because he has two. and Like, he can play Bride underneath Toolies. Oh, B R I D making D O B O R I I D. Yeah, I, uh, I believe it scores thirty seven. No, thirty eight. It's so, so it scores thirty eight, and it um. Yeah. Oh. Oven oh, he bird. found probably the only bingo there. Wow, what a nice find from the O yeah. of Let's Oven see. Bird. Matthew oh, did. that or over bids were both were both there. I, I, did I didn't even notice that. that that was a spot. So Matthew's a couple wow. of options. One, one thing that might be interesting, so you can play Jip up top, G-I-P. Um, which scores probably the best in the immediate sense. Man, I'm just sorry. I'm still looking at Overbrew. That's a really good find. Uh, yeah, and that's what he's going to do. So... He's down nine with four in the bag. This is really bad, though. Uh, he does yeah, have the J. Maybe there's some chance. Ideal, but I, I bet he thinks that with the J, he can, he can... I mean, what if he hits, like, Jester or something? So, so do that S and Tulis. So you think that's where uh, Josh is going to want to wanna play, yeah? Yeah, um, I think so. Uh, but the thing is, I think... I don't know if Josh can get the C on the triple letter and hit the double, so he might play. Oh, maybe he can like, play he can't co-star, play but that doesn't work. But he can't yeah, yeah, yeah. play that because it's can't things do like that. on the bottom. So I think yeah. he might actually play something like acro, or maybe he won't empty the bag and he'll play. What something. about what about cuter or something? This is this is tough. Ah, like, you don't yeah, want to only be scoring he twenty here. Bag. So he, if yeah. he doesn't want to empty the bag, his options are less scoring, but he's not emptying the bag. So he can play something like, I don't know, Cat, um, which is 17. But Oh, he has such a cool underlap of Quattro. C-U-A-T-R-O. Oh, that, that oh my different. goodness, that is so hard to find. Let's see if he sees it. Making Doc... O U L A I T E R S O. Oh my goodness! Yeah, there's nothing even close to that. That's just an insta win. Everything else yeah. probably uh, loses it yeah. in certain scenarios. Yeah, let's see if we oh, can wow. see Quattro. And then for those of you in the audience, there's some fun eights if different letters were on the boards. He could play Turncoat. He could play Nocturia with an I on the board, and he could play Turncoat with a T. He could play Courant and Outrance with an E. Yeah, no, so this is the thing. I think in this position, Josh does want to be looking for underlaps under Tulis, right? That's the thing yeah. that's going to open the least amount of stuff for Matthew Tunnicliffe. But yeah, to to go all the way and see the six tile overlap or underlap, that's uh it's I gotta mean, be just found oven bird, hard. but this is this is an extremely difficult find. I think he might wow. be better at finding bingos than finding uh finding overlaps like that. He did already miss Tep uh Yeah, yeah. Quattro making six six words. Okay, he finds Trona. <laughs> That's Which probably, good, probably good enough. Probably enough to always win because he does at least block stuff like Juster. Yeah, but now he's left. I mean, he's left with pretty rough things. So 
Tonicliff can play Vine. No, I'm sorry, I cannot do that. Uh, yeah, yeah his options are pretty bad. He actually, have a ton of options now, so it works. He can play. He can't play, he can't play his J off with Jet. He could play the under... ins and leave himself with the two out plays. That's all I really see. It's it's not great, but it leaves him two outs. Uh, what is? And I don't know if uh, Josh can really wreck him on the triple. It looks like his best play might be Actually, EJ, EJIT. EJIT for 20, Maybe, leaving uh, himself with NTH. Tempt in two spots. Yeah, that might be better. Well, you I don't know have, if there are two spots. Yeah, there are two spots. Plenty of spots. There's Fawn, there's Doth, there's In and Eat. There's Ren. Yeah, F-A-A-N. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. EJIT is I mean, he's uh, he's probably still going to lose by 10 to 20, but that, that is probably... I mean, I don't know if Josh's best play is. It might be Kauf up top, C-A-U-F. Yeah, be... you can do that. I think even if he does, like, Fucus, yeah. F-U-C-U-S, I think that's good enough. Yep, that would work, too. I think, uh, so, yeah, I guess Egypt is the best we see right now. He's going to... Oh... That That's is cool. a fun try. And the other cool thing is that if Josh blocks by playing fun, he has the E hook. It's not gonna win, but it's it's a great try. So if you guys don't realize That's an the awesome play. A I N N takes a back E hook. So he tithe. Uh, tithe is what you mean. Yeah, tithe and Jin oh, and Tithe I'm sorry. and Ginny. Tithe. Tithe. So he's setting up Ginny and Tithe. And the cool thing is that Josh's best block is probably wow. fun. Uh, and that sets up Tithe and Orf. So fun and Orf. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, that's an he, awesome. He endgame. doesn't have enough to win, but it, it is a uh, wait. Does Lout play it with Lout, and he's gonna? Oh my God, it's gonna tie. This oh. is a tie. Oh my God, this is a tie. Have we ever wow. seen a tie? Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> I I don't even know what to say. Wow. I'm at a loss for words. Yeah, I mean, it's an impressive swindle for half the point. We like it. <laughs> that's just that's just so cool. Yeah, I did not see Jin coming, and I thought you I thought you were gonna play Orphe, and I didn't see like Lout and Ginny. I'm I like, oh. I put that on the board. I put Lout. I, no, I put Ty and Orphe on the board, and then I looked again <laughs> and saw what I was supposed to put. This this was not all planned out. I'm like, I'm just gonna play Jin and see what happens. I did not play this out of my head. Oh man! All right, who's next? I I don't even. We're not gonna be able to follow that game. That's like the coolest game I've seen in a long time. Oven burn. <laughs> nobody saw that. Like, well, there was. The I was game, deciding between oven burn and overbids. I were fine. I just didn't even realize you could play something from that. Oh, like it's just so so weird. You don't usually like on configurations like those. You don't usually, you can't usually do something like that. The 